good. I've replaced a lot of the wiring here again. Now we have a much stronger manifold system here, all done in steel. That's looking good. What else have we done? New valves. All this is brand new. The only thing is uh, saved uh, are these uh, motors, the drive motors that drive the manual 1000 psi valves. The new hoses, everything, everything is new. I mean, what happened was we had the explosion and it, uh, we lost the ability to shut off the oxygen cylinders. But now what we have is a secondary radio transmission system and can shut off all the oxygen supplies. It does, it controls uh, our cooling system. So we'll be using that to uh, uh, send uh, some high pressure CO2 through the cylinder. Any other changes? It's just got these optimized injectors in, is it should deliver less oxygen into the combustion chamber, but it will deliver a higher pressure for longer. The cylinder won't be overwhelmed yeah, I think what happened last time by examining the, the footage, you, know, you could actually see we was putting too much high pressure oxygen in. We got a shock wave inside the chamber. We think that took some plasma back into the supply, which blew out the back end. This new injector will stop that happening. We're, we're delivering the right size of opening for the chamber, and we're doing it through a array of holes. That in itself is like a flame retardant. The scientific reason for why flame doesn't go through a, a grid pattern. So that's what we'll be doing with the optimized uh, injectors. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Same pressure? Yeah, 1000 PSI. I have actually tweaked the fuel. I have put some carbon black in and I have uh, put in a little bit of hot glue. I haven't altered it too much, but I have tweaked it a little bit. As far as I'm aware, that basically stops it melting quicker than we want it to. Anyway, we'll see. I feel very positive. I think, uh, I think we've fixed all the things that caused the explosion. And so all we can do is uh, pull the trigger and see what happens. I look forward to seeing you on the launch pad.